Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Peachy. I'm here to read you chapter 8, and it's called The Night. Now, we know that they just came out that secret passageway, and it looks to me in the picture that it's falling down into the moat. Let's find out. <clears throat> Water filled Jack's nose and covered his head. His glasses slipped off. He grabbed them just in time. He coughed and flailed his arms. Jack! Annie was calling from above. I'm in the moat, said Jack, gasping for air. He tried to tread water and put his glasses back on. With his backpack, his shoes, and his heavy clothes, he could barely stay afloat. Splash! Hi, I'm here, Annie sputtered. Jack could hear Annie nearby, but he couldn't see her. Which way's the land, Annie asked. I don't know, just swim. Jack dog paddled through the cold, black water. He heard Annie swimming too. At first it seems as if she was swimming in front of him, but then he heard a splash behind him. Annie, he called. What? Her voice came from in front, not behind. Another splash behind. Jack's heart almost stopped. Crocodile? He couldn't see anything through his water street glasses. Annie, he whispered. What? Swim faster. But I'm here. I'm over here near the end, she whispered. Jack swam through the dark towards her voice. He imagined a crocodile slithering after him. Jack's hand touched a wet, live thing. <gasps> he cried, it's me, take my hand, said Annie. Jack grabbed her hand. She pulled him to the edge of the moat. They crawled over an embankment into the wet grass. Oh man, Jack said. He was shivering all over. His teeth were chattering. He shook the water off his glasses and put them back on. It was so misty, he couldn't see the castle. He couldn't even see the moat, much less a crocodile. We, we made it, said Annie. Her teeth were chattering, too. I know, said Jack, but where are we? He peered at the foggy darkness. Where was the drawbridge, the windmill, the hawk house, the grove of trees, the tree house? Everything had been swallowed up by thick, soupy darkness. Jack reached into his wet backpack and pulled out the flashlight. He pushed the switch. Nothing happened. The batteries were dead. They were trapped, but not in a dungeon. They were trapped in the still, cold darkness. Yeah. A horse's whining echoed, or whinny echoed through the night. The clouds parted. A full moon was shining in the sky. A pool of light spread through the mist. Jack and Annie saw a shadowy figure just a few feet away. It was the knight. The knight sat on the black horse. His armor shone in the moonlight. A visor hid his face, but he seemed to be staring straight at Jack and Annie. That's the end of chapter eight. What do you think the knight's going to do? I think the knight's going to grab him and put him back in the dungeon. Think he's going to help him? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.